back to Ask Dr. Ben, where I try my very best to answer your questions uh, about uh, COVID-19. So our next question comes from uh, the Hollis family over in England, and I absolutely love this question. So uh, the Hollis family asks, my kids want to know if uh, the virus started from eating bat soup. <laughs> Great question. Yeah. Okay. So there are definitely parts of the world where people do eat bats, and bats are really just another mammal. So mammals are things that have hair on the outside and um, uh, give milk to their babies. And most of the stuff that we eat that's not chicken is some kind of mammal. So yeah, we're, we're pretty good at eating mammals. But uh, probably this did not come from directly eating bats. So the people that eat bats generally eat the nice big ones. There are some bats that are pretty decent size, like a small little uh, partridge or a little uh, Cornish hen or something like that. And they would have some meat on them. The bats that are associated with this virus are tiny. They're about one to two inches long, about the size of a chicken nugget. And that's with all their hair and their bones and their little feet and wings on. <laughs> And frankly, there is not a whole lot of meat on those. Can you imagine how many of those it would take to fill up a pot and make uh, bat soup? I'm also wondering what that would taste like. What spices would you like to put on your bat soup? I don't know. Leave me an answer in the comments below or however this works. I have no idea how Facebook works. <laughs> but uh, that is a great question. And uh, honestly, someday when this is all over, if somebody offers me a cup of bat soup, let me try it because I'd like to know. <laughs> Thank you very much. This has been Ask Dr. Ben.